okay. I came to Rome on uh, September 2nd afternoon. I arrived here by through Emirates actually. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we would just like to know what are the process you went through? Like you filled the passenger locator form previously and like what else you did? Hello guys, welcome to your channel Travel with Meg. So today I'm going to tell you if you're coming from India, Bangladesh or Sri Lanka, how you can reach Italy. And just two days back, few of my friends, they came to Italy. So I'm just going to tell you the process, how it goes on, what you have to do and when you have to do. So this will be a detailed video. If you have not seen my previous video regarding this notification, you can go and watch that video. You can get the link in the description. Italy has lifted the ban from India, Sri Lanka and Bangladesh. And this ban is lifted till 25th of October, means any further notice. Uh, but there are certain conditions that you need to fulfill to reach to Italy. And only like, but not everybody can travel. If it's related to work, if it's related to study, you can travel to Italy. Okay, so what you have to do? first of all you need to take covid test test should not be more than 72 hours before you will start your journey from india okay you need to also take a digital passenger locator form and you can also show them in your phone or you can show them in a printed format basically it will be the information related to your address where you're going to stay in italy and from where you're coming about your flight details I will suggest you always to reach here in Italy either morning or in afternoon to avoid any problems in finding taxi or reaching to, to your accommodation. After you will land here in Italy, they will take passengers from India, Sri Lanka and Bangladesh separately. Okay. After then, they will take you for the COVID test at the airport itself. Okay. Now, it depends uh, where you are landing in Italy. Uh, also, it depends how many passengers are there from this country. But it may happen you need to wait for three hours or five hours, you know, accordingly, maybe one hour and half an hour. It totally depends upon how many passengers are there. But report you will receive in 10 to 15 or 20 minutes. You need to reach uh, at your accommodation at your place and there you need to be quarantined for 10 days after 10 days again you need to go uh, to take um, the covid test and yeah that's it welcome harish thank you so much for coming on the channel and sharing your experience so harish you travel i think three days back uh, to yeah. rome from yeah I, okay. I came to rome on uh, september 2nd afternoon i arrived here by through emirates actually Okay, okay. Uh, so we would just like to know what are the process you went through, like you filled the passenger locator form previously and like what else you did? Yeah, uh, I filled a passenger locator form uh, in two days, I mean in two days before. And uh, mm -hmm. also I did uh, the pre-swap test registration. So because mm -hmm. these two documents are mandatory and uh, the departure mm -hmm. airports in India are checking this uh, thoroughly. They said mm -hmm. you, should, you should have these two documents with you when you are going to Italy. And I also okay. have a PCR NATO report. Okay. So this uh, pre uh, like swap test registration, you mm -hmm. did it at the airport, right? Uh, the registration. No, I didn't do that at, at airport. Uh, I did uh, mm -hmm. advance uh, two days before. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. there is a link uh, provided in uh, Salute uh, website. Uh, you know, the... Ah, okay. The, yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. along with, um, uh, what is this? Uh, Passenger uh, locator form. Locator form. Uh, mm -hmm. Downside a little bit, uh, I think this link has provided, they provided this link. Okay. So I did. Uh, okay. So once it. you will send me this link, I will put in the description so others yeah, can sure. see that. Yeah, right? no worries. Yeah, I'll send you. Okay, so we need three things. One, we need the the digital form. Second, we need the swap, swap pre-registration test. And yeah. the swap test that you will do once you will come here in Italy, that registration you have to do pre. And yeah. third, you need the negative PCR result that you have to like 72 hours. Uh, yes. It should not be more than 72 hours. Okay. Yes, and, uh, and fully vaccinated hmm. report. If you have. And the vaccine, vaccinated yeah. report if you have. Okay. Then after you landed here in Italy, in Rome, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, so what were the steps that you told, that they told you to do? So actually, uh, after we landed, um, they separated the people who has the green mm -hmm. pass or who do doesn't have the green mm -hmm. pass. So I come under, uh, because I don't have a green pass. So mm -hmm. I only have vaccination report. Uh, so they sent me mm -hmm. to take the swab test. So mm -hmm. after I went to the swab test counters, uh, they checked my documents and they told, uh, okay, you are fully vaccinated with AstraZeneca mm -hmm. COVID shield. And also your mm -hmm. second dose is on uh, in July. So that means the so four weeks mm -hmm. passed. Uh, so mm -hmm. you don't need a swab test, they told me. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah, so I didn't pay 20 euros and uh, they, they sent me to the immigration. 
So, mm -hmm. yeah, and they told uh, you can show the vaccination uh, report uh, even at the immigration. So, they will uh, mm -hmm. serve mm -hmm. you. So, yeah, that's mm -hmm. what happened. Uh, okay. But uh, people so who... Is uh, sorry. People I'm sorry. Who, yeah, you can you can, you can carry. Yeah, you people can carry who on. are um, vaccinated, but uh, a second dose is like not passed four weeks. So, uh -huh. You know, they should go for the swab test again. I think they will tell you because they are very keen in checking the dates in the vaccination report. Uh -huh. So they will tell you everything okay. at the airport. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So is that only because you had the COVID shield vaccination? They allowed you. I mean, they don't. They didn't say you to do the swab test again in the airport. Or it's because you are fully vaccinated. Like, what was the reason? Oh, uh, actually, they just asked me whether I'm fully vaccinated or not. So I told them mm -hmm. uh, fully vaccinated. Then they asked me mm -hmm. which vaccine. I told them uh, Astrogen Covid Shield. So then they mm -hmm. asked me to show the certificate, and I showed the certificate, and they checked mm -hmm. the dates. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and mm -hmm. uh, they allowed me without any swab test. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my, it might happen because they have already approved AstraZeneca. But the thing is, Italy, Italy, I mean, they have approved AstraZeneca, uh, the Oxford one, okay? Yeah. And obviously, the India has the same, the Oxford one. But mm -hmm. India, they, they keep it under the name of COVID shield. So they have not exactly like yes. approved COVID shield, but maybe because it's AstraZeneca only, that's why they allowed you. Yeah. I mean, but still, we are not sure about about this thing, right? It just we know from your experience that they did it like that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah that's true. Uh, and one thing more, uh, while filling the passenger locator form, mm -hmm. uh, there is a line at the end uh, where you have to mention what will be your means of transportation to reach your accommodation, final destination in Italy. Yes. So what you choose and how it yes. works. So actually, I mentioned uh, train and cab. Because uh, I came uh, until Germany by train, and from there I took the cab because of my luggage. So, mm -hmm. but people also go can uh, they can also go by um, mm -hmm. underground trains or metro buses. I mean, um, no okay. one is uh, uh, they are really checking okay. uh, because they are asked. I mean, they are, they they said to me it's fine. You can uh, go by train and cab. So even by public the, transport, I mean, yeah, yeah because, even buying mm -hmm. at the uh, airport uh, station. The train tickets they didn't check mm -hmm. my vaccination uh -huh. certificate nothing they just gave me the ticket and they asked me to go okay you can take the train okay yeah. hmm. that's a good thing i mean because it's a yeah, big it's thing a, you know you need to take public transportation mm -hmm. to reach i mean you need to take bus you need to take train uh, and if i mean you cannot pay that much amount of money for your taxi so i think that's a very that's yeah. that's a very good thing actually yeah Okay. And uh, what about your quarantine? You're getting 10 days quarantine. I mean, you are in quarantine right now, right? 10 yes, days. yes, I'm in quarantine. Uh, I end I my quarantine on Saturday. So actually at immigration uh, police, uh, they told me I have mm -hmm. to be in quarantine because I'm coming from India. Either you are you're mm -hmm. a negative or you're fully vaccinated, you have to be mm -hmm. in quarantine for 10 days. So because, uh, you know, okay. uh, because I'm, I'm following my quarantine very strictly because uh, mm -hmm. you're submitting your passenger locator form. So that means so yeah. they can uh, track you because you're mentioning mm -hmm. there uh, where you're locating, uh, you're staying. So I gave yeah. my phone number and everything. So and I'm strictly okay. I'm in quarantine for 10 days. So mm -hmm. I hope everything uh, goes well. <laughs> yeah. Right. Great. Okay. The last thing, Harish, just about the green pass, because mm -hmm. uh, in order to eat inside the restaurant, in order to use the long transportation and in order to use the like bus and inter-regional trains, not the yeah. local trains. And for entering to museums and other touristic place, you need to have a green pass, okay? Yeah. So, but obviously you don't have a green pass now, in fact, to attend university. So how you will manage that without the green pass, Italian green so, pass? Uh, actually, uh, at the immigration of pol uh, police counters, I asked the same question. Uh, they told me that you mm -hmm. can show this vaccination uh, certificate report uh, wherever you go, if they mm -hmm. ask anyone. So, okay. mm -hmm. so I, even at the university, they asked me to show the vaccination report um, when you arrive at the university. So, mm -hmm. I, mean, there's, I mean, I hope that they are allowing uh, with this vaccination report because they told. So, even you mm -hmm. have a RT-PCR report uh, after your quarantine, you, again, you have to go for a swab test. They told mm -hmm. me if you have any symptoms or not, uh, mm -hmm. you can take the swab test. So, I mean, uh, I'm fully vaccinated. I feel like I don't require any swab test. I have vaccinated thing. Mm -hmm. So I will show this one. I hope they are allowed. So, yeah. Okay, in your university and everything. Yeah, in the university. Yeah. They mentioned in the university, mm -hmm. actually. 
the people okay, uh, i think the rules are changed mm-hmm. on september 1st i think uh, from the university mm-hmm. yeah so, from yeah september 2nd yeah. i think yeah that yeah. you cannot enter the university without mm-hmm. green pass and all the things that's true yeah uh, in fact in major places in italy you cannot use like inter like you cannot go from like rome to milan yeah and region you cannot travel without the green mm-hmm. pass in train that's and all that okay yeah mm-hmm. So yeah, Harish, thank you so much uh, for all these information because it was obviously very, very important. <laughs> uh, a lot of students they are coming and they are like not too much, you know, knowledge. They don't have a knowledge about how they're going to do it, how they going to take a, you know, bus, local bus. Can they take? They cannot yeah. take because yeah. each and everything is not mentioned online uh, yeah. on the portal. So yes, thank you so much, Harish, for coming on the channel. So, so really. and finally, I'll just say some words. Uh, Mm-hmm. So the people who are coming from India, just to make sure that mm-hmm. you have all the documents with you, uh, passenger mm-hmm. locator form and a pre-swab test mm-hmm. registration and uh, COVID, uh, your vaccination certificate and RT-PCR negative. So mm-hmm. everyone is very strict in Indian airports and in uh, transit mm-hmm. airports and in your arrival mm-hmm. airports. Everyone checking a keen to keen uh, whether you are genuine or not. All these forms. Mm-hmm. So make sure you have all the right documents uh, so then you can uh, pass very freely. without any st- uh, like you know stress uh, you can you do your journey so so i think you can um, follow me megana uh, videos i think uh, she is providing uh, very nice information even i came to know that uh, india is uh, i mean italy is allowing uh, indians uh, through your video megana so uh, thanks wow. a lot uh, for your uh, useful information to us so yeah uh, i think it's my pleasure to meet you yeah same here hadi same here so yeah harish welcome to italy and i hope uh, your phd your pure phd right in italy yeah yeah Thanks so it, yeah. you finish your phd fast and you become dr harish <laughs> soon okay okay then yeah thank you so much harish bye 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 everybody see you see you